The Thirsty Crow On a hot sunny day, a thirsty crow was searching for some water. Just then, she saw a pot. The crow found that there was very little water at the bottom of the pot. She then thought of an idea. She picked up small pebbles and dropped them into the pot. The water inside rose up every time the crow threw pebbles inside the pot. Soon, the water was at the top. The crow drank enough water until she was no longer thirsty. Moral of the story, clever ideas help you get what you want. Letter D Let's learn letter D. D says duh. D says duh. D stands for doll. D stands for doll. D stands for dog. D stands for dog. D stands for drum. D stands for drum. D stands for donkey. D stands for donkey. Big and small. Let's learn about big and small. There are two balls. Are they of same size? No. This is a big ball. This is a small ball. There are two water vehicle. This is a big ship. This is a small speedboat. There are two road vehicles. This is a small car. This is a big truck. Number 1 Introduction to Number 1 1 1 1 Sun 1 Sun 1 Finger 1 Finger 1 Moon 1 Moon 1 Boat 1 Boat Goldilocks Deep in the forest, there lived three bears. A great big daddy bear, a middle-sized mummy bear and a small little bear. One day, mother bear made porridge for breakfast. She poured it in three different sized bowls to cool it and set out for a walk in the woods. While they were gone, a little girl called Goldilocks knocked on their door. When nobody answered, she went inside the house. She saw the three bowls of porridge on the table. She was very hungry. She tasted all three bowls, but Baby Bear's porridge was just right and she ate it all. She looked around and saw three chairs. She sat in the big chair. It was too hard. Ouch! She sat in the middle-sized chair. It was too soft. Plop! She then sat in the tiny chair. It was just right. But suddenly, the chair broke and Goldilocks fell to the floor. Crash! She went into the room and found three beds. 
She climbed Daddy Bear's bed. It was too hard. She climbed Mummy Bear's bed. It was too soft. She then tried the Baby Bear's bed. It was just right and she soon fell asleep. When the bears came home, they found the door open. They came in. Someone has eaten and finished my porridge, cried the little bear. Then baby bear saw her chair and she cried again. Someone has broken my chair too. <laughs> then they went into their rooms. Someone has been sleeping in my bed and is still sleeping in my bed, cried the baby bear. Goldilocks just woke up, screamed and ran out of the house into the woods. We won't harm you, screamed Mummy Bear. But Goldilocks did not stop and never came back.